that's what I need. We have the highlighters. We have lipsticks. We need bronzers this year. I'm just saying, we need bronzers. In try, in try, in try, in try, in try, in try, in try. I called it, didn't I? I freaking called it. I said it. I said it. And Rihanna responded. We have bronzers now. I'm super stoked about it. She came out with eight shades and all of the bronzers retail for $30. So I ended up picking up two of the shades. I got Caramel Cutie and Coco Naughty. I ended up getting these two because I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I figured I'd do the demo and figure out what I want. First of all, the packaging. Gorgeous packaging. It's a bronzed copper on the beach, honey. Love, love, love the packaging on it. It's very similar to um, her regular hot kilowatt highlighters, but this one's cuter. <laughs> so here are both of the colors side by side. This is Caramel Cutie and this is Coco Naughty. I believe both of these are very, like they're warm but neutral. This one looks a little bit redder where this one looks a little bit more brown but still neutral. I did do a couple of swatches in the store. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have saw some of the swatches against some of the other brands in their bronzers. So I'm very happy that she did come out with eight because we got options now. If you're interested in this eye look, I do have a small tutorial on it. I'll link it here up in the cards and also in the description box. So here are a couple of the bronzers that I do have in my collection. Caramel Cutie. We have Coco Naughty, also by Fenty. We have Too Faced um, Dark Chocolate Soleil. We have Anastasia Beverly Hills in Mahogany. And the last one is Bobbi Brown in Dark Three. Anastasia Beverly Hills, that's a little on the darker side, but nonetheless, we're gonna try Fenty, because we're here for Fenty. These are bronzers. They are not contour shades. Um, I did see a few complaints about, oh, Rihanna should have went a little bit darker. I have seen a couple of videos where some of my deeper sisters and brothers have um, used the bronzers and they think it's fine. It does what a bronzer is supposed to do. It's just add a little warmth. It's not supposed to contour your face. Some of us who are a little bit lighter do have the luxury of using it as a bronzer and contour but me personally I prefer my contours to be a little bit more on the gray side to cast that shadow and the bronzer to add that warmth and if you feel like oh damn you know I should have been using this to contour girl if you don't get yourself a matchstick and contour with it and then put this bronzer on and stop complaining yeah I'm talking to you sis you see me. We're gonna put Caramel Cutie on this side and uh, Coco Naughty on this one so we can really get into these colors. Now, I have two of the same brush. This is a Sigma F23, but each one is on its own side, okay? All right, taking a little bit of the Caramel Cutie on the tip of this brush. up the face we're gonna have to push my hair if you see my wig girl is late at night I'm, I'm tired <laughs> so just gonna use a tiny bit and work our way up from the forehead I'm to take it all the way here how we looking so far it's doing what it's supposed to do, which is bronze up my skin. I'm gonna just take a little here. And I'm gonna see if I can build it up just a tiny bit. And I just realized I never wiped off the powder from under my eyes. <laughs> Don't mind that. It looks good to me. So right now this is Caramel Cutie. It's not chiseling out my face, but it is adding that warmth all right, let's move on to Coco Naughty. Again, different brush. We're just gonna take the tip, add a little product, and I 
Yeah, this one is a little bit redder than what I go for now. I'm getting my makeup life together. Old Chi Chi probably would have grabbed this and never looked back. New Chi Chi <laughs> is, you know, getting her education on. It's definitely not bad at all, and especially since summer is coming up. Um, it's a nice transition into the summer months when I know I'm gonna be a little bit darker. The purpose of a bronzer is, you know, when that sun hits you, you get that nice golden crisp on your skin. Like, come on. I definitely see the warmth in both of the colors, but I can also see the neutralness of them both. Yeah, this one almost slightly contours but not too much it's like oh, i'm doing the least yeah i can definitely use this one in the summertime this one i feel like i can wear this color with or without makeup and it still look very natural i feel like this side is extremely natural versus this one where it kind of looks like i'm wearing makeup I don't know, you guys, you guys tell me, like, am I bugging or not? Nah? I'm gonna put a little bit more on just so you can get the full, you know, opacity of the situation. Take it a little bit more. And I'm using a very, very light hand. Super light. I can get away with either side, 100%. I am digging Caramel Cutie a little bit more than the, <laughs> the Coco Naughty. I forgot to mention my shade. I am a 385 in the Fenty Beauty as of right now. I do have a, a try on demo. If you are my foundation twin, or if you've been missing, mixing 370 and 390 together, I'm gonna link that video up there for you because you may want to try it out just in case you, you know, I'd be trying to help you guys out. But, ah, this is a tough call. I think, I, I yeah, I think I'm going with Caramel Cutie for right now. And then once I get into, you know, 390 and even 410, I, I believe I'll be able to use this. I'm liking this side so far. So let me know which side uh, you like most. I did not contour my nose. I'm gonna try it with Caramel Cutie. I know this isn't a contour type of situation, but since we're here, <laughs> um, it does make for a very nice and natural nose contour. She's literally cute as a button. I really don't want to use um, Coco Naughty because I will get played out. I already know, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> she came out with two highlighters. One was one of the duos. Um, which my Sephora did not have and that's the one I really wanted and she also came out with a full-size pan of penny for you thoughts <laughs> you gotta fucking love Rihanna but um I did swatch that shade and I just felt like that was a little too deep and it was chunky as fuck like I didn't like how chunky it was so if you have texture on your skin you're definitely going to see that um on your cheeks and you don't want that if you have texture but i did see a lot of people use it as a eyeshadow and it looked gorgeous i don't think i'm going to pick that one up i think i may pick up the duel once i swatch it but i'm going to wait till the vip sale because girl i mm -mm, no i ain't got it like that re i ain't got it like that i hope you guys enjoyed this video if this helped you out definitely leave a thumbs up comment down below if it helped you and you're my foundation twin you know we got to talk we got to share this information don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts and i will catch you in the next video stay comfy guys bye